The Airports Authority of Jamaica and the Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency are in the hot seat after hundreds of passengers were forced to wait hours when they arrived in the island earlier this week. The issue is reportedly due to the airport's processing capacity. However, TVJ News has learned that a high-level stakeholder meeting has been called to address the issue. Anthony Lugg reports. Things are looking good for Jamaica. The destination has been growing and there have been some 15 additional new flights per week since the start of the year. But in the midst of it all, there are questions about whether the country is biting more than it can chew. This was the scene at Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay yesterday as captured by a visitor. <laughs> Many were left fuming, some even taking to social media, blasting the authorities for what they describe as an inefficient system. We put the concerns to President of the Airport Authority of Jamaica, Audley Diedrich. It is regrettable. It is a case where when COVID came, we expected the return of aviation traffic to be much slower as far as the 2026 before we are where we are now. Traffic recovered much faster. And the systems and human resources and other things that are to make uh, or to accommodate this level of flow were simply not all back in place. TVJ News understands that scenes like these at the Sangster International Airport is a daily occurrence, but on Monday the issue reached crisis levels. It's still not clear who's responsible. However, we're told key tourism interests, among other stakeholders, are of the view that the Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency, PICA, and the Airports Authority of Jamaica are failing terribly. In response to the situation, an official at PICA, while acknowledging the issue, says it's not staff-related. The official noted that congestion occurs between 11.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. daily. We checked for ourselves. Now, when we checked the arrivals on the Montego Bay Airport site between 11.30 all the way down to 2.30 p.m., we counted some 25 flights. Now, when we checked with our sources, we're being told that's roughly between 4,000 to 4,500 passengers. That gives you an idea of the number of persons coming through the airport on a daily basis. This compared to the number of agents who have to attend to these persons. And so the plan that was approved uh, coming out of discussions last year was to acquire an additional 15 kiosks for Montego Bay. In fact, the intention was to have those kiosks purchased and installed for the winter tourist season starting in December. But delays took place from the supplier side and those kiosks are now expected to be in place by May of this year. As the country awaits the installation of the new kiosk machines, it's clear that if adjustments aren't made, passengers arriving in the island will continue to face lengthy delays. Meanwhile, the National Security and Tourism Ministers are expected to visit the airport this week. At the same time, a high-level meeting is also scheduled for this week. As for the expansion of the Immigration Hall... Some of these construction activities should begin this year. They are now out in the market to procure contractors for the purpose of proceeding with the construction activities later this year. Anthony Lugg, TVJ News.